Melanie Jolie's response brings to light concerns about the perceived weaknesses in foreign policy. In the realm of global threats, such as those posed by Iran, power and decisive action are often seen as essential for safeguarding the interests of nations and their allies. The public is uneasy when questions arise about whether Canada is urging Israel to restrain itself in the face of Iranian aggression. Diplomatic restraint or calls for de-escalation can be interpreted as timidity, potentially signaling weakness in the eyes of an adversary like Iran, emboldening them further. Is Canada's position that Israel should not respond to Iran? I mean, you've called for a ceasefire vis-a-vis -vis Hezbollah, but this attack from Iran, is Canada asking Israel not to respond in kind? We need to make sure that there's no escalation. Of course, Israel needs to be able to protect itself, and that's why we'll continue to support its security, and we'll support, of course, through the Iron Dome. Uh, at the same time, we need to make sure that parties sit down and the war stops, because we can see that what will happen, there will be even more further escalation, more innocent civilians, including women and children, die. And that's what I said at the UN yesterday. We need this war to stop. Jolie's focus on preventing escalation and advocating for a ceasefire may be viewed by some as a soft stance that risks undermining Israel's right to defend itself. The suggestion that Israel should engage in dialogue with entities like Hezbollah and Iran strikes many as misguided, particularly when dealing with terrorism and rogue states. This perception implies a disconnect from the harsh realities of conflict, where force is sometimes necessary to secure peace and prevent further assaults. While protecting civilians is undeniably crucial, many argue that true security comes from neutralizing threats like Iran and Hezbollah. To them, peace is not achieved through diplomacy alone, but through forceful action that eliminates future dangers. Canada's emphasis on de-escalation suggests an effort to reduce chaos and violence, prioritizing diplomatic and humanitarian concerns. Jolie's appeal reflects a universal yearning to protect the innocent, especially women and children, by calling for a ceasefire and highlighting the need to prevent needless suffering. However, for those who believe in the necessity of military action, the path to security lies in swift and firm responses, not in restraint.